Look at all the hibiscus flowers. My goodness. That is pretty. Gorgeous. Gonna say hello to the gorillas. And before I go in, look who's one of the contributors. Right there, NBC Universal. Let's go. Now I know we saw the gorillas earlier, like just a few seconds ago, but this is one of the pin sections that you can look at right here, but not here. So we'll continue on this way. There's footprints right there. Gorilla footprints. Hmm, not over here either. Well, I don't see any gorillas, but I've got some morning doves over here. <laughs> I was one gorilla, I just saw the corner of my eye walk over here. Must be on the other side of the wall. My goodness. <laughs> there is actually another gorilla right behind this tree here. There it is. Let's get him back with the zebras. Got that eared fox over here on the right. This area once again is closed off. Oh, actually there's that guy up there on the rocks. Hold on. So up there on the rocks is the Hyrax. Right up there. Zoom in a little bit better. Here we have the peninsular pronghorns. Oh, hey there. <laughs> I believe that was the golf course. And up there on the hill, we have the original Los Angeles Rams. And directly behind me, we have another pin of Peninsula Pronghorns. We got a lot of them in here. Look at those rams again. And here we have a little Anoa. Right there. Here we got the Barbarossa. There goes the tram. That's pretty cool. Anyways, as I was saying, that's the Barbarossa right over here. In case you're wondering what Barbarossa means, it means pig deer. Interesting name. See a scarlet ibis over here, buffalo heads. Oh man, look how red that guy is. Jeez. I guess it's another one of those areas, unfortunately, that is closed off, much like the aviary and all the other places that are indoors. I mean, this is technically outdoors, but I guess they're thinking that there'd be too many guests in one area, so it's safer this way. But it's a little difficult to see all the information from this distance. So maybe if they put them a little closer, that'd be one thing. Like maybe closer to the walls. Just as an idea. So that way they can see the names of the animals that are in here. Unless you get a camera, you can see them. But otherwise, it's really hard to see them. So uh, there's a little, little idea there for the LA Zoo. We've got Speaks Gazelles in here. And... I don't think so. I don't see them in here. Wait, no, wait. I right behind that mound, right there. 
right back there and just poked his head up once again i previously mentioned this but the soda machines as well as the snack machines are not in service at this time they do have the hand sanitizing station but as you can see you can't get soda gatorade or water so i highly recommend bringing a bottle of gatorade or water with you because that way if you start to get a little dehydrated you have something with you in case there's nothing nearby because a lot of the places around here are closed off like the soda machines and the water fountains oh there are the peccaries right over here If you hear that speaker in the background, that's not security. That's actually the golf course next door. We are literally next to the Wilson and Harding golf course here in Griffith Park. That's actually a driving range right over here. So whenever you're hearing the speaker go off, that means they're waiting for the next person to go and tee off on the first hole. So if you hear the speaker in the background, if you're in this area, that's probably what's going on. They're announcing who's going to be up next. So that way they can get ready to play golf. But if you hear a lot of what sounds like golf balls being hit off over here, that means that that's a golfing range. But there is actually a hole. It's like hole 17 or 18 right over here by this area, the Harding Golf Course. So, yeah, there is a golf course back here. In fact, look, there are golf carts right there. This is like hole 17, I think. And you may notice that there's all these other golf carts and trams over here. You are not allowed to go through those areas because that's, you know, that's really restricted. So don't walk back there. Uh, we have the 8x in here, and I just saw an 8x. There they are. Right over here. Uh-oh. Did they hit a golf ball over there? Oh, jeez. So someone must have hit a golf ball right over there. Uh oh Ouch. Oh, man, that is the worst place to hit a golf ball. That's like in the gutter. There's the 8x right there. Look at those horns. Man. It's actually kind of funny because I actually played for about a week over here at the Wilson Harding Golf Course. And this was for like a golf camp basically. And I was there for a week. Had to get up super early in the morning. It was cold in the morning but warm in the afternoon. But let me just say that I had an experience I'll never forget. So I was on the, the Wilson side of the golf course and there's a road that goes in between the different golf courses for cars and pedestrians to go by. Well, I think this is like hole three, I think. You're like right up against that road. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I am terrible at golf. So I go to hit the golf ball off the tee and it legit goes 90 degrees towards the road, barely missing a car. <laughs> Like, honest to God, 100% true. There's a lizard right here. Like, I am terrible at golf, okay? I was able to hit it straight a couple of times on the range, but I am terrible when it comes to playing golf. I played golf for about a year, and then after numerous times where it just kept going anywhere but straight, I was like, all right, this obviously isn't the sport for me. So I'm like, okay, it's time to move on. <laughs> and at the same time, I was also playing basketball too. So I'm like, which one do I like better, basketball or golf? Obviously, basketball. There you go. <laughs> African painted dog. And there's two of them. Right over, oh, there's three actually. Right over there. Like, who's that? Who is that? Look at those guys. They're three amigos. Now this particular zip is not closed because of social distancing, it's just that it's in repair. So unfortunately there are no animals in this section, but there are right across from me. So I'm going to go check them out in just a moment. Right over here we got a couple of birds. We got the white cheat Turaco. Yeah, let's see if we can find Oh, right there. It's on the branch right there. It's kind of focusing in on the the fencing here. Sorry about that, but I'm trying to my best to get a shot of it, but it's right there on the branch. Here we have the infamous bird cages where they have, oh wait, it's not this one, it's actually the other one, but the lapwing and the mouse bird there in here. Here's the mouse bird right here and the lapwing right there. 
Oh, the laughing is actually right there in the in the food bowl. Got ourselves a spotted thick knee. Two of them actually. Hi guys. It's on the right, it's really tired. Hey. I guess Congress has adjourned for now because they're not making a racket at the moment. We got the weavers and different types of weavers. We got black headed weavers and white headed buffalo weavers. Beautiful colors too. Look at those colors on those birds. These guys too. <laughs> so we're gonna go walk down the eucalyptus pathway once again. We already saw the gorillas, but we're heading to Australia now. As Australia is up here on the right. Looks like the Tasmanian devils are not here at this time. Their exhibit is temporarily closed still. I miss seeing them running around out here. Yeah, they've been running around all around this whole pen here. This is the kangaroo pen, but that's not a kangaroo, that's a crow. <laughs> there are the kangaroos, right over here. infamous bird here in Australia at the LA Zoo. It looks like it has two mouths. Look at that. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. The presence of this bird here is just absolutely amazing. Just look at the size of that thing. <laughs> so the koala, once again, is right there. Koala bear. Just see his back. They're more nocturnal, so it's understandable that he's sleeping right now. So this is the Australia house, as I've mentioned previously. It is still closed. Hopefully at some point they will be able to reopen it. This is an indoor exhibit where they have some of the more nocturnal animals of Australia inside here. The koala used to be in here a long, long time ago, but not anymore. They have the marsupials in here. But at this moment, the exhibit is unfortunately closed. As you see on the signs here, it says no smoking, no food or drinks, no flash photography because this is in, in like an enclosed area and it's dark. No noise or loud voices, no strollers, keep children off handrail. Now, you can actually hear the sound effects still running inside the building, believe it or not. Of course, you got the laughing kookaburra right in here. Both of them are right over there. If I'm not mistaken, that is a kookaburra feather. Got it. That is so cool, look at that. Oh, that thing sound effect on the on the phone over here. That's a cookbear for a feather right there. That is cool. Yeah, both are right there. In case you're wondering what that hissing sound is, that's actually a mister in the background. But that's the hornbill. I just remember what it was called, the hornbill. It's making that racket behind us. Nice to see you guys. So that's kind of cool that I have a feather from the kookaburra right now. I actually have a couple of feathers from the flamingos as well, which is pretty neat. Nice pink color. I actually found one of the feathers off on the golf course, believe it or not. So I don't know, maybe a fl flamingo on their spare time was playing golf. <laughs> but anyways, um, actually before I head on, I'm going to sanitize my hand because I don't want any more germs. So in here is the Parenti as well as the Komodo dragon, the largest lizard out there. Once again, this area unfortunately is closed off for the health and safety of our animals. I don't know if they're even in their pens anymore. I would usually see the, the Komodo dragon like right about here near the window, but I don't see it. So, I don't know if it's even in the pen anymore. So we have the cassowary right here. I'm gonna jump in the pool. Like I'm thinking about it. And 
Look at me. All right. Heck. Oh, look at it. It's one of Daddy's favorite. Hey, Chloe. Look at this. All right. Can eat apples in three seconds. Oh, oh, I'm in the splash zone. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Those things can eat apples in three seconds. Why? Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of part four of my special vlogs right here at the Los Angeles Zoo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other vlogs here on YouTube, as well as my other channels, the Educational Series, the Design Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. You can find me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description of this video, as well as my P.O. Box address. Thank you so much for watching. In San Jose, say in Hollywood. Still not in Hollywood. I'm actually at the Los Angeles Zoo. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time.